My name is Devin Dumont. I am the curator at the University of Georgia Marine Extension Service Aquarium. I'm Kara Paquin. I'm the assistant curator at the University of Georgia Marine Extension. And we just released two, two NAR sharks that we've had on exhibit at the aquarium um, offshore with the assistance of Grays Reef National Marine Sanctuary Office. The purpose of releasing these sharks into the wild was to contribute to the nurse shark population off the coast of Georgia. We did initially try to find new homes for the sharks um, and at other aquariums in close proximity. However, no one could take them at the time, so our second option was to release them. And before they were released, they were tagged by Donna McDowell of the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, one of the sharks we released was a male that we nicknamed Hoover, um, like Hoover the vacuum because of his suction feeding capabilities. And he's been at the aquarium for about nine years and it's about five feet long when we release it. The reason for releasing both of these nurse sharks is also because the tank they were in, a 1600 gallon tank, was too small of an environment for both those sharks together. Um, by releasing them, we've also opened up the opportunity to bring in a new exhibit and showcase some other local species here in Georgia. But those two nurse sharks for the past few months, we've been tossing food in and letting them forage just like they would if they were in a natural environment. We've been throwing mud crabs in. If we had live shrimp, we'd toss those in so that they could hunt them down and forage for them and prepare themselves and so we could prepare them for life out in the great blue ocean. Nurse sharks like Hoover and the female nurse shark we released are very docile animals. They, um, you can find them if you're diving, scuba diving, whether it's by a ledge or by a reef. You usually find them under that ledge, resting on the bottom. They actually have the capability to just kind of sit still and let the current um, filter over their gills so that they get the oxygen that they need. Um, these animals will not purposely go out and attack anybody. They will only bite if they are harassed. So if you're out there poking it, it's no different than a human being. If you bother them enough, you know, they can snap too. Um, um, we use a sling to help lift them out of the tanks and load them onto a, a separate holding tank that was in the back of the pickup truck, which we drove down to the dock. And then from there, we transferred them to another tank that was on the back deck of the boat. So um, that way they were only out of the water for a matter of minutes. And even when we were measuring them and tagging them, they were only out of the water for a minute or so. So uh, we were very happy with how that turned out. We feel their chances of survival are very good. Um, and hopefully we've prepared them well enough for life in the big world by feeding them live animals in their food regimen. And we released them together so hopefully they'll stay together. Nurse sharks are very social sharks. They'll spend uh, the day together in small groups, kind of lounging around the bottom and then feed at night. So we feel very confident that they'll do well together.